Thank you for watching Roo TV. Hello everyone and welcome back to Roo TV. I'm Jocelyn Summers. And I'm Alexandria Ersman. Alex, it is a great time to be a woman. The sun is shining, spring is almost here. Not to mention, it's literally Women's History Month. It's the best. This March, we celebrate Women's History Month to remind everyone of the achievements of women throughout the years in our culture and society. This year's theme is Women Who Advocate for Equity, Diversity, and Inclusion, according to the National Women's History Alliance. Bingo is happening this morning to kick off campus celebrations from 1030 to 1230 in the Women's Center. And join them again this Friday, March 15th from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. to watch popular feminist films. Snacks will be provided and discussion is encouraged. Next Friday, March 18th, the African American Student Union will be hosting a lip gloss and bouquet making class to celebrate women on campus. I had the privilege of attending the Summit League Tournament in South Dakota over the weekend to announce our basketball games. Let's hop on into the den with Zach to hear more about how the tournament went. Welcome back into the den. I'm your host, Zach Gunter. This past weekend, the men's and women's basketball teams played in the Summit League Basketball Championships. Unfortunately, both the teams lost in their first games. The women played Omaha in the first round of the tournament, but after a valiant fight, the Roos lost by six to the Mavericks. The final score was 61 to 55. Freshman guard Imani Bennett shined the brightest for Kansas City, leading the entire team in scoring with 18 points. The men's team held the nation's leading scorer, fifth year guard Tommy Bruner, to only 16 points. However, that effort still resulted in a heartbreaking one point loss, 61 to 60. Junior guard Cameron Foss was the heart of the team on Saturday. His 14 points off of four made three-point shots kept the Roos in the fight. But both team seasons are now over. Softball, however, is just getting started. Standing at 6-18, and 18, the Roos haven't been all that successful. With losses this weekend to Northern Colorado twice and Ryder, the team stays in fifth place in the Summit League. The Roos game against Valparaiso was canceled due to weather. This week, the Roos take on Western Illinois on Tuesday and SIUE twice on Wednesday. That's all I have for you today. As always, Roo up. Another event during Women's History Month is the Her Slash Their Art Exhibit. This exhibit showcases nearly 60 different artists and what, is it, what it is like to live as a woman or non-binary femme in America. The event is hosted by the Women's Center and is located in the Interurban Art House in Overland Park. You can tour the exhibit virtually, or starting March 19th, you can tour in person with up to 10 others by making an appointment online. Thank you so much for tuning in to this week's episode. Make sure to hop on the subscribe button and follow us on Instagram at RueNewsUMKC. Rue Roo up. Normalizing smelling like a girl. Yeah. <laughs> Just tell me what y'all want to talk about. Next Monday, y'all want to talk about? Yeah. Real? Yeah, Mexican pizzas for everybody. Doritos Locos Tacos for me. <laughs> so you write it down. Don't write it down and I'll, I'll actually buy you Taco Bell.